IBDP mathematics students. We'll talk about your internal assessment. Your internal assessment accounts to 20% out of your total grade. Your assessment depends on five criteria. Criterion A, presentation. Criterion B, mathematical communication. Criterion C, personal engagement. Criterion D, reflection. And criterion E, which is the use of mathematics. Let's start by criterion A, presentation. The highest score points for criterion A is four marks. In order to achieve the full score, the exploration must be coherent, well organized, and it must be complete. So your idea must be having a starting point and an ending point by which each, the starting point and the ending point are linked well together. Now, criterion B, mathematical communication. The highest score possible for this criterion is four marks. In order for you to achieve the four marks, your mathematical communication must be appropriate, relevant, and concise. This means that you have to communicate your ideas using mathematical methods as charts, diagrams, infographics, and plots. It's time now for Criterion C, personal engagement. The highest score possible for Criterion C is three marks. In order for you to achieve these three marks, there must be an evidence of outstanding personal engagement throughout your exploration. You have to always remember that you always start your personal engagement from a problem that you are facing in your real life. As an example, maybe your dad is investing his money in the forex market and your dad does not know how to calculate any expected value. So you must state in your personal engagement that my dad is facing a problem in the forex market and I will solve his problem using the mathematics I learned inside the classroom. You always need to start by a problem that you are facing in your real life and you have to state clearly how you use mathematics you learn inside the classroom to solve this specific problem. Now criterion D, reflection. The highest possible marks for this criterion is three marks. To achieve these three marks, there must be a substantial evidence of critical reflection in your project. You have to keep reflecting throughout the whole project. It means if you carry out step number one, you have to reflect on the first step. You have to say, does this solve my problem? Is the math I used correct? Does it give me the needed results? And based on this reflection, you carry out step number two. And you have to keep carrying on in this reflection process across the whole project until you solve your problem. The last criterion is E. Use of mathematics. The highest possible grades for this criterion is six marks. In order to achieve them, the mathematics used must commensurate with the level of the course. This criterion is different from standard level to higher level students. If you are a standard level student, then the level of math that you're using must be as difficult or complicated to the level of your course. While a higher level student must use mathematics that has complication or difficulty up to the level of their course. So I advise you to use mathematics which is difficult up to the difficulty of your course. So guys, subscribe to keep notified about all our upcoming content.